Hello, welcome to this quick video on Spring XD. So what you can see I've got running here is the XD admin UI, but it's a little bit different because I've got something up here that says analytics and something down here that says create stream. So let's get straight into it. Uh, normally when you want to create a stream with XD, you are jumping out to the shell on the command line and using the shell to create the stream. But what we've got here is a visual builder for stream definitions. I think a screenshot of this may have been included in an XD blog, but here it is in action. And what do you get? Well, down the side here, I've got a palette of all the available uh, modules defined to XD that I can use. Um, I can filter on those to see particular ones. And importantly, I've got documentation on these. So if I hover over one, I get an exact description of what it's for. I get a list of all the options it supports with documentation for all the options. And building streams is as simple as just picking what you want and dragging it out, joining them together. Now the time module takes some options. If I click on it, I get these options shown to me at the bottom. So it supports five options. These are grayed out because I'm not specifying them at the moment. Um, I get tooltips on what they're for, and if they have a default value, that gets filled in here. So I'm not specifying any at the moment. Let me click on fix delay and give that a real value. You'll see it's gone black, I'm setting it, and we've updated what is the textual representation here of the stream. So this textual representation is kept in step with the diagram. As you work on one or the other, they keep each other in step. So if I change this fixed delay back down to one, you'll see that when I open the properties for the time module in the diagram, it's back to one. This isn't just a dumb text box though, it's actually got content assist in it. So if I do TI, and that's for content assist there, it gives me time. If I type L, we log. And if these things take options, it will help me craft those. So it's quite flexible. If you're a power user and you want to type in the text, it helps you with that. If you just want to learn your way around the system and build them in a visual way, you can use that. Um, so I've got my basic stream, but I'm going to add one more step to it. Add a transformer in here. And I'm going to set the expression for the transformer to just chop up what it's getting from the time module. So we're good to go. And you'll see it updated the expression here. And I create stream. Let's create my time stream. If I jump back to definitions, my time stream is here and ready to go. Let's deploy it. So that's now deployed. If I jump to my console, you'll see that chopped up date and time is coming out of uh, the sync. And if I click this little guy here, I get the same visual representation. I can't edit the diagram here, but it's augmented with some annotations. And these are um, throughput numbers. So this is the number of messages coming out of the time module. This is the number of messages going into the transform module, and so on. Now we know that time is producing an event every second, so these guys are going to settle down to around one eventually. So that was a very simple stream. Let's create something a bit cooler than that. Um, I'm going to see what Google are up to. I'm going to use the Twitter stream, Twitter search API. And I'm going to query for tweets concerning Google. Send that to a log. Now you see, you had made a mistake and I got that red underline. Create stream. You'll see I gave the stream a name down here, so it pre filled it up here for me. So I just have to click create. That one should be good to go. Yep, yeah, and I'm going to tap into that. Add a counter to it. Okay, now I'm going to define that guy. So I've got my two, I'm going to deploy them now. So first the one that's collecting up the tweets. Then the one that's counting the tweets. Now counters are one of the things you can measure with XD under the analytics section. So you'll see we have a central dashboard. This is very basic at the moment. It's going to be more customizable. But we have separate tabs for the various kinds of things you can look at. So if I open the counters tab, I see my Google count stream, I see it's got a value of 87 and it's increasing by about 5 every second. And over here I get a nice view of recent history, so it's showing me the 
at the moment the last 18 seconds so every two seconds I see the tweets coming out about Google let's try something different what else can we measure I'm going to create a HTTP listener this is going to be on port 90 and I'm going to send it to a file and I want to tap into that and send that to a rich gauge yep this will be my HTTP gauge that's defined and ready to go uh, deploy the listener deploy the gauge and jump over to analytics. So, what's in which gauges? There's nothing in which gauges. That's because no traffic's coming in. So, let me send something to the gauge. So, we send a value, it's appeared. It's only got one value, it's got no context of what is a max and a min here. We send a lower value. You'll see it's turned into a proper gauge. And as I send it more information, it's going to move around. You can see that. The there are better ways to send data in than me sending curl requests, and that gauge will represent a live representation of whatever the value is currently sent to. So those are gauges, and these views, if you have a number of gauges, they'll be stacked on top of each other and paged if there's too many of them. But it gives you a visual representation of what's going on. And let's try one more thing. Uh, let's do some Twitter stuff. So let's attach to the Twitter stream using a tweets stream uh, yeah let's look at what language people are tweeting in field value counter field name what's the lang interesting the lang of the tweets and let's look at common tags are at the moment. Field value counter, field name, this time it's entities dot hashtags dot text. Create that, tag count. So that should give me some new streams to deploy. So let's deploy the tweets one. And then the tweet lang the tag count. So what have we got now in our analytics? We didn't add any new gauges or anything, so what have we got in here? Let's look at field value counters. So first let's look at the language people are tweeting in, and a bubble chart. Very exciting bubble chart at the moment. So that's showing the languages as people come in and we detect new languages are being used. Bubble chart updates. Two more. And we can also look at um, that as a pie chart if we wish. So you can imagine a dashboard down the line that lets you group a number of these together on a page, however, you want to view the information about your system. The other one we had was tag count, so that's showing me common tags, and again I can see that as a pie chart or a bubble chart. So that's what we have. So we've got uh, visual construction of streams with content assist for if you want to be a power user and type in the text form, and we've tied that up with throughput monitoring on the streams and analytics support for viewing various aspects of your gauges and counters. Thank you for watching.